Eric of the world, he's got his face on it. Shh, it's starting. Tomorrow, Beano Town elects its next mayor. To show why I deserve your vote, I've got you all a present. A new waxwork of the most handsome, hard-working and, above all, humble man in Beano Town. Me! <laughs> this represents my new approach to menacing. Vote for me and I'll make Beano Town a prank-free zone. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. sure that he loses the vote tomorrow. And I know how. Hmm. Lunchtime. Ha-ha. <laughs> huh? Right. Time to make that waxwork work for us. Nasha, it's snack time. Yes. Hmm. Looks delicious. <laughs> oh, you can't move in this town for menaces. Hey, come back with my lunch. Sure you're up for this, Payface? Oh, yeah. I'm world champion at standing still and doing nothing. Hi, what are you doing? Mescrimp's orders to protect this priceless work of art from any more menacing pranks. Well, he needn't worry. Nothing gets past old Slipper. Nash, nash! Time to show the town my new approach to menacing. <laughs> Careful now, Mrs. McGinty. Let me help you across the road. Ah, ah, my toe! I don't believe it! Did you see who that was? I know. <laughs> Father Christmas at this time of year. What? Oh, no, it was Mayor Scrimp! <laughs> <laughs> under the sheet, lads. Uh, pie face, disguised as a ghost. <laughs> Very funny. You just keep away from this waxwork. I have to make sure this vote runs smoothly. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice one, pie face. You can stop doing the pause now. No, I can't. Oh, stiff. Sounds like scribs are gonna. Come on, we don't want to miss this. Right, all of you, take it easy. Back up, back up. What? What are you all on about? I haven't done anything. A likely story. We all saw you. We didn't think a new approach to menacing meant you would be doing the menacing. You're not fit to be mayor, so none of us will be voting for you. Yes. Now to get our skateboards back. Which leaves us one tiny question. Who is going to be the new mayor? Surely you're the obvious choice, Father. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly... N oh, very well. As you all insist, I accept. <laughs> all those in favour? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh... Vote carried. May I present to you the new mayor of Beano Town. Oh! <laughs> 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 My first act as mayor is to end Scrimp's pan on skateboards. 
Ah, maybe he's not so bad after all. And replace it with a ban on skateboards, bicycles, catapults, water pistols, water bombs, hand buzzers, and anything else that may be used by a menace. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, heaven. Yeah, he's not so bad. He's worse. <laughs> Wakey, wakey, Assistant uh, Junior Apprentice Parky Scream. Sorry, sir. <laughs> All our gear gone. Scream doesn't seem so bad now. Let's scrimp stick to picking litter. It takes a man like my dad to deal with rubbish like you. What? You're nothing without your pranking equipment. Oh, yeah? A real menace can make a prank out of anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Slow down, Dennis. That does it. Little pickers are banned. Uh, re really? Y you sure? Absolutely. Anything that can be used for anything gets banned. Uh, okay. You heard the man. Hand him over. Yeah, right. Anything, eh? <laughs> Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> Lovely mints for you, Mrs. McGinty. Now, where are my paper bags? Again with the Mrs. McGinty. <laughs> well, what happened? Did my black pudding explode again? <laughs> I saw that. Paper bags are now banned. <laughs> I'll just find something else to use. Still a stinky smell. Don't worry, miss. We'll shift it. Ah! 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 what? Well, there's only one sensible response to that, and that's to ban hair dryers. Oh! Da 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 da! <laughs> My favourite colour. <laughs> 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 1730 hours. Time for your daily watering. What the? Right. From now on, watering cans are banned, and so is paint. <laughs> Hang on just a second. How's a chap to keep his garden spruce if he can't water it? Look, I realise these bans are causing a few problems. A few? With our paper bags, no one's buying any meat. Look at the state of my hair. I can't fix it without a hairdryer. Just give me a little more time. I I've almost beaten those menaces. Oh, yeah? Want to bet? Right, gang, this is the big one. Dirty socks? Check. Line of underpants? Check. Ultimate weapon? Let's see Walter's dad try and ban this one. Time for Operation Underpants. Charge! Stand firm. We can take anything they throw at us. Let me go. Except sticky socks. Socks are banned. Oh. Everybody calm down. There's no need to... Uh, I can't see. Oh. Tactical withdrawal. Follow Stop it! You're causing chaos! No, you're causing chaos. We were just standing here. Time for the pants de resistance. One of baby bees use nappies. <laughs> 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 That does it! As of now, all forms of underwear are banned! What? Don't be ridiculous! We were better off with scrimp! Sergeant Slipper, do something! Ah, I intend to. I suggest yesterday's vote be overruled and scrimp gets his old job back. All in favour? <laughs> Sorry, sir, but nobody's confiscating my underpants. Oh. I hereby ban all bans! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, including the one on skateboards. Hmm. Oh, all right. But don't think I'm going soft. Let me remind you the sort of man you're dealing with. Uh, uh, no, sir. Please, hang on. <laughs> oh. Yep, it's exactly like you. When there's menaces about, it loses its head. No. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> First day of summer. Time for a dip. Time for a swim. Time to make a 
Not this year. You lot are banned from the pool. Why? I know what you did last summer. Get in! You have to admit, Sergeant, it was a trifle funny. <laughs> oh, go jump in the lake. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, <box> <laughs> Here, Dennis. <laughs> You're banned from the lake, remember? Why? <laughs> and now your pesky pet thinks I'm lunch. <sighs> Fine. I know the perfect place to keep cool. Okay, this is not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, at least it's got bubble jets. Uh, I don't think it does, Pipes. <laughs> <laughs> the bugs! The bugs by those! <laughs> Live from my back patio, welcome to this summer's preeminent sporting spectacular, the Walter Games! <laughs> Starring the indomitable champion, me, and the stadium goes wild! Round one, diving for dictionaries. Wow! It's a paradise! Oh, like the one I got in my ear at school camp. That was a parasite, Pyphis. Oh, yeah. Dennis, do you think we should ask Walter if he'd let us go in his... Don't even think about it, Dennis. Pool rules. No more than three kids and one pet in the pool at a time. And definitely no menaces. Right. We want to swim and we'll get a swim. New mission menaces. Operation Extract Walter from the pool. Walter Games round two. Synchronised Shakespeare. Shall I compare oh, thee to the summer's day? Hook, line and sausage. Round three. Backstroke to Bach. Morning, all holidaymakers. News just in. Summer is ending early. What? Hey. <laughs> Followed by Gale Force Blizzard. <laughs> Hang on. That weatherman sounds horridly familiar. Mm. <laughs> oh, busted, Dennis. Huh. Menaces, this leaves us with one final option. He put lobsters in your swimming pool? Exactly. Lobsters in my swimming pool. Right, Dennis. I'm not letting you ruin another summer. Three strikes and you're out. It'll be summer school for you. Summer? School? Those two words don't even belong in the same sentence. <laughs> and these lobsters are strike one. Oh, come on, Sergeant. Don't you know the meaning of the word fun? No. And don't even think about breaking in again, Dennis. Say hello to Pool Boy 2.0. Good morning, Walter. It's certainly is a nice day for a swim. Morning, boys. Nice day for a swim in Walter's pool. <laughs> There's no way you'll get in. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Begs for a good cause, you say. Well, one box of cookies won't break the bank. <gasps> what flavour? Butter wouldn't melt in my mouth flavour. Oh. oh, there are so many cookies to sell. And it's so hot. Oh, 
you oh. poor thing. Would you like a swim in our pool? Oh, you're too kind. Huh? <laughs> Intruder alert. No more than three children and will get in pool any time. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Angel Face. Let that be a warning. You're all forbidden to sit a single foot in my back garden. Or else. Hmm. We won't need to set a foot in his garden because we're going to build... A water slide! We'll slide from the top of the treehouse, whiz through Curly's corkscrew, past Pie Face's peril, up and around Nash's nemesis, and down Dennis's doom drop. Then out the spout, leaping the alley, flying over the laser beams, and into Walter's pool! Aye, thank you. Oh, it's great, Dennis. Uh, one question. How do we squeeze into that tiny slide? We're gonna build it big, Pie Face! Instant access to the pool, and all without setting a single foot in Walter's garden. <laughs> right, we'll need to distract Walter while we hammer and bang, which is why we'll need you. For an all-summer pass to your slide, it would be my pleasure. I'm sorry, you're who? Franz Trudepresse, recruiting officer for the Swiss-German Volta Games team. Wait a minute. Are you saying we have a chance to compete professionally? Oh, yeah. <whistles> Training drill begins now. Drop and give me 20. <laughs> and <laughs> my dry <laughs> feel. <laughs> Step one, borrow a few spare pipes. Hey, that's strike two, Dennis. Stop messing about. Summer is not meant for fun. Oh, honestly, Sergeant, weren't you ever a kid? No. Oh. Step two, borrow some water. Oi, what are you boys doing here? Um, playing catch. <laughs> here, catch! Brown strudel pretzel, oh, he on the team. <gasps> Angel face! You felonious fraudster! Oh, stop it! You make me blush. <sighs> now listen, I've got some valuable intel on Dennis. Step three, build the slide. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Menaces, let's ride. Be brave, Paul. <laughs> One's tampered with the trajectory. Hmm, cookie crumbs. I taste a traitor. Oh, hi, Dennis. Hi. Walter's kindly given me an all summer pass to his pool. Isn't that sweet? Hmm? Oh, too bad there's no room for you. Don't get too cozy, clever clogs. We'll fix the slide and then we're splashing in. Dream on, Dennis. Afternoon, Sergeant Slipper. Illegal construction of a constructed structure without structural permits? Let's strike three, Dennis. Pack your bags. You're off to summer school. You should have thought twice before building a giant water slide. Would you, uh, like a ride, Sergeant? Oh, 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 no, no, don't be silly, Dennis. I'm a grown man. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Ice cream! Intruder <laughs> <laughs> alert. No more than three children and one pet in pool at a time. Oh, dear. Well, there's only one way into the pool, Walter. What do you say? An all-summer pass to our slide for an all-summer pass to your pool. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is going to be the best summer ever.
today we're putting the fun into fundraising to raise enough money to deal with the pigeon infestation. I've looked at several money-making ideas, and in my impartial and unbiased opinion, the best one is Angel Face's Biscuit Bake Off. Thanks, Daddy. It's simple. We all bake cookies and sell them to raise money. <laughs> no way I'm baking bickies to help this dump of a school. And whoever sells the most cookies will win all day passes to the new roller coaster at Beaver Town Fair. Hey! Like I said, I'd do anything to help this dump of a school. But we don't know anything about baking cookies. True. We'll need some help. And I know just who to ask. Angel Face, I have a cookie-shaped career opportunity for you. Join Team Walter and you'll get great experience for your CV, a full benefits package, pension and holiday entitlements, and homework help. Hmm. Throw in piggyback rides to all my lessons and you've got a deal. Bertie? Dudley? <sighs> right -o, hop on. Oh. Give me up. Oh, I have a counter offer. Join us and we'll split the roller coaster passes with you. I want half. No way, there's four of us. Okay, two quarters. Done. <laughs> now, I've broken the recipe down into simple stages. Dennis, you stir the mixture. Nasha, crease the baking trays. Nash, Nash! Curly, roll out the cookie dough. Pie face, you cut them into shapes. And I'll add the decorations. Now, let's get baking. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it passes the Nasha taste test. <laughs> cookie crew, present cookies. I give you... The Walter Wafer. <laughs> I give you the Menace Mouthful. Nash, nash. Oh, oh, Mum, we're selling cookies to raise money for the school. You're helping the school? Why? To win free tickets for the new roller coaster, of course. Oh, that makes more sense. OK, I'll take a box. <laughs> Decorations taste funny. Oh, those aren't decorations. They're bits of Nash's fur. Nash! Oh. Uh, there! Oh. Oh. First satisfied customer. <laughs> Let's get back to school and start selling. Our oh, Minnie's mouthfuls are made with only the finest ingredients. Then each one is lovingly topped off with sweetness and light. And offered to you so we can support our beloved school. Oh, I'll take a dozen boxes. Sold. Cash only. Keep the line moving. <laughs> no one can resist Angel Face's sales talk. Roller coaster, here we come. La, la, la. From the frozen north oh, 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 to the Straits of Gibraltar. It's no snack better than a wafer from Walter. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, good. Oh, superb. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Walter Wafers, finest cookies in Beano Town. Cookie here, cookie here. Oh, oh, Sweet oh, and crunchy. Oh, 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 Plan B. But, Walter, I thought the song was Plan B. Time for Plan C, then. Oh, Read all about it. The truth about many mouthfuls. Oh. <laughs> Wait, come back. Uh, special offer. Buy one and I won't menace you for a week. Buy our biscuits, Daddy. Uh, sorry, Pumpkin. I'm buying Walter wafers. This leaflet says menace mouthfuls are made of cardboard, sawdust and mouse droppings. Outrageous! Besides, only one of those things is true. <laughs> this is what happened to me when I ate a menace mouthful? Right. Uh, two can play at that game. 
Hello? Been on town TV? Meet me at the school. I've got a hot news story for you. <laughs> okay, we need some lipstick, balloons, and Curly's video camera. We're here at Beano Town School where we were hoping to bring you an exclusive story. But so far, all we've found is some pigeons. Chew. Boy, I've got your story here. Just upload this video file. <laughs> Time for the Beano Town Frog Hurdling Finals with a nice cup of tea and a bite of those delicious Walter wafers. We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. Hello, I am a proper doctor. Are you eating Walter wafers? Mm hmm. Then you'd better watch out for these side effects dizziness. <laughs> Strange squiggles on your face. And finally... If you don't want your head to explode... Buy many mouthfuls, the cookie you can trust. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've completely sold out. But did we beat Walter? Pie Face is on the case right now. We sold 154 boxes before that news report of Dennis's scared off our business. Hmm. We've only got five left. We have to sell them to be sure we beat Dennis. We sold 158. And Walter sold 154. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 But he's still trying to sell his last five boxes. Oh, actually, four, cos I bought a box. They're really nice. It doesn't matter. The only way anyone else would buy Walter's wafers now is if they don't have a TV. And there's no one in Beano Town without a TV. Oh, except... No, 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 no. I never watch the entertainment square. Rots the brain, don't you know? Exactly. We know you're a man of taste and distinction. That's why we rushed here with this exclusive offer on our last remaining boxes of Walter's wafers. If Walter sells his last boxes, he wins. You have to stall them while I make more cookies. Oh, Colonel, I just happened to be passing when I suddenly wanted to hear some of your brilliant war stories. Really? Well, of course, my pleasure. It's so important for our generation to listen to the wisdom of our elders. Don't you agree, Walter? Yes. But if we could just finish our business first... Don't be so impatient, young man. That's what's wrong with the youngsters today. Now, during the siege of Shethington Grouse, we waited 57 days. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> I put in loads of extra self-raising flour to make them bake faster. Yeah. Ah. Wow! That really was fast. Gregory, one of us has to wrestle these sharks, and I think it should be you. Hmm? What was that noise? Uh, probably your stomach rumbling. Hungry for some Walter wafers? Ah, uh, yes. Well, I suppose I'd better get on with buying them. Look It's a biscuit eat biscuit world. And you know what that means? We win! We win! We win! Thanks to all the money raised by the biscuit bake-off, this school is once again pigeon free. And the results are in. In second place, it's Team Walter who sold 155 boxes. But your winners, with 158 boxes sold, Team Dennis! <laughs> and here's your prize. Three passes to the new Beano Town roller coaster. Yeah! What do you think happened to Team Walter? Looks like they're on a roller coaster ride of their own. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get 
to school and hand in my homework. My homework. Bravo! Wonderful! Wonderful! Oh, don't clap. Dennis is clearly lying. Yes, but with such verve and imagination. Class, this is Mr. Blake Midwinter. He's an actor from the television. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, little boy. You may have seen my acclaimed performance as a man in park in that crisps commercial. <clears throat> Nay, squirrel, these are not for you to nibble on. End of scene. Mr. Midwinter is going to help us with this year's school play. That's right. Thank you, Mrs. C. I'll take it from here. We're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. And I do believe we've already found our Jack. <gasps> um, surely the lead role should go to someone artistic? Exactly! And Dennis here clearly has a wild flair for dramatic improvisation. I have what now? He says you have wild hair for drastic improvement. Hey! I'm not brushing my hair for anyone! Sorry, Mr Midwinter, but I'm out. Oh, sadness. No! Your words strike like arrows at my heart. <sighs> oh, well. The show must go on. Auditions are tomorrow lunchtime. But I must warn you. The rehearsals will be very demanding and mean missing a lot of lessons. Miss lessons? Wait! I'm in again! Huzzah! A star is born! Like you said, the show must go on! There are still plenty of parts to audition for, and Headmaster Detesta has very kindly insisted on helping me choose the rest of the cast. Next, we have Angel Face Detesta reading for the princess. Oh no! Here comes the giant! Jack, look out! Bravo! Oh, beautiful! Such poise! Such grace! A perfect princess! I don't believe we need to see anyone else for the role. Thanks, Dad. Okay, everybody, let's rehearse. Curly and Pie Face are the giant. Angel Face is the princess, Walter is the bean seller, and Dennis is our fearless Jack. Please, no autographs. <laughs> Now, in this extremely moving scene, Jack is with one of the most important characters in the play. The bean seller! No, no. I mean Jack's cow. But who should play the cow? Who should play the cow? Come on, come on. You both look marvelous in that costume. This isn't even a cow. It's a horse. Yes, but the magic of theater will make the audience believe it's a cow. I'm not doing it. Oh, oh there's a funny smell in there. Ah, oh, yes, that may be me. It's uh, Cabbage Thursday in the canteen, you see. I've got a much better idea than that moldy old costume. Presenting Jack's cow. Oh. A dog can't play a cow. It's genius. Oh yes, it's even better than a horse. It's playful yet surprising. It's very, it's very now. I love it. Okay, let's get the bean seller scene out of the way, and then we can move on to the big romantic finale where Jack kisses. The princess. Right, I'll just... <laughs> Hang on. That sounded like you said something about kissing. Oh, dear, Dennis. Uh, haven't you read the script? Page 30, Jack gives the princess a big kiss. In front of the whole school. <laughs> kiss a girl? <laughs> Angel Face, you don't want to kiss me. I haven't had a bath in a week. Of course I didn't want to kiss kiss you, but the Beano Town Gazette are sending a photographer, and if kissing you gets my picture on the front page, then 
I'll do it. And scrub my mouth afterwards. Ha ha! Everyone will see Dennis the Menace smooching the headmaster's daughter. <laughs> um, Mr Midwinter, I I'm having second thoughts about the play. And third thoughts, too. And they're both... Ah! Well, of course I can't force you to do the play, Dennis. Oh, I knew you'd understand. But if you do drop out, I'll make sure you get double all the lessons you've missed. So, what do we say? The show must go on. Dennis, what are you going to do? If you oh, kiss a girl in front of everyone, you'll never live it down. I know, but Mr Midwinter won't let me give up the play. <sighs> ah, but it wouldn't be my fault if he kicked me out, would it? Morning, everyone. Places, please. From the top of Act Two, a Jack climbs the beanstalk and sees the giant. Look. The beans have grown into a huge beanstalk. I told you they were magic. Thank you, kind bean seller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't forget to feed my cow. He must be hungry. Three, five, four, four. I smell the blood of. <gasps> Stop! Sorry, Mr. Midwinter, but I totally understand if you don't want me in the play anymore, so I'll just get going. What are you talking about? That was brilliant! So raw, so spontaneous, so, so in the moment! You know, you remind me of a young me! <gasps> okay, now let's try the kissing scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course! Thanks, Nasha! Okay! Hook her up, Angel Face! <laughs> oh, sorry! Uh, just coming down with a bit of a cold! <laughs> oh, keep your jabs to yourself! I need to look my best for the paparazzi. Oh, no. Well, we don't want anyone getting sick before opening night. Maybe we should skip the kissing scene for now. <laughs> Good old face snot. That should keep me kiss free till this is all over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jack and the Beanstalk. Adapted, choreographed, designed, and directed by uh, your humble servant, Blake Midwinter. Yo, oh, look. It's Man in Park from that crisp commercial. <laughs> Make sure you get a good shot of the most talented actress, my daughter. Jack, a humble farmer boy, taking my cow to market. Nash, no. I'll buy your cow for these magic beans. <laughs> I think I've had too many beans already. <laughs> <laughs> right, just the kissing scene to go. Time for the fake snot. <laughs> oh, um, we're looking for this. <laughs> now you'll have to kiss Angel Face. <laughs> oh, only one thing for it. You mean? Yes, Curly. Operation Blackout. <gasps> no, not Operation Blackout. What is Operation Blackout? Well, Operation Blackout. Hurry oh, up, Dennis. Come on, Pyface. <laughs> Time for our big scene and for me to get my picture in the paper. Mm -hmm. You defeated the giant and won the heart of a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Curly. Don't let me down. I escaped the kiss of shame. Angel Face got her picture in the paper. And we got out of lessons. I'd say the play was a big hit. <laughs> Just not the kind Mr Midwinter wanted. Ah, hey. Oh, fool. Ah, this is ah, ah, oh, I bet he wishes the show hadn't gone on after all. That's showbiz. No, that's menace biz. <laughs> <laughs> Go and have a goo 
little balloon fight later. Great, eh? Oh, Dennis! It's school photo day. You have to stay clean. Stay clean? Me? <sighs> yes, Dennis. I want Mum to have a photo of you looking absolutely sparkling. Upstairs, now. Morning, Mr. Um, Walter's dad. Listen, a uh, little favour. You know it's school photo day. Yes, of course. Walter's just had his 13th bath in preparation. He should be clean enough now. Well, after his shower, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, I want Dennis to stay clean too. Uh, thing is, I've got to be rushing off to work now. Well, if Dennis goes to school on his skateboard, he'll get mucky. So, uh, could you take him to school along with Walter? <laughs> what, and have Dennis make a mess in my lovely car? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't do that. You're not going to get yourself <laughs> uh, messy, are you, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Me? Get messy? No, of course not, Dad. <laughs> I'm warning you, Dennis. You better stay clean. If Mum doesn't like the photo, you're grounded for a month. A month? Just if I get dirty? <laughs> Well, that threat seems to have worked very well. Have him wait outside. We'll set off soon. <laughs> oh, thank you ever so much. You know, you, you, you really are too... <laughs> ...kind. <laughs> oh, Dennis! I see you've prepared for the school photo. Rather than smelling of an entire rubbish dump this morning, you only smell of a cow pat. Oh, oh, oh Dennis, you appear to have some paint on you. Oh, no. Can't out menace a menace, Walter. I'm squeaky clean right now. I know it. No, 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 really. You have some paint on you right to... There. Huh? Ah! Walter! I could get grounded for a month! Oh, sorry, Dennis. I had no idea. You better wash that off then. Oh, don't worry. Dad won't leave until you're in the car with me. You're quite safe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, right, boys. Shall we... Wait. Where's Dennis? Oh, he's in the car already, Father. Yeah, yeah jolly good. Quieter than usual, isn't he? <laughs> ah, hey, Walter! Wait! <laughs> oh, now how am I going to get to school? Outside any longer, I'm bound to get dirt on me. I can't help it. The only way I'm going to make it to school without getting mucky is if I take <laughs> the bus. The regimental command will love these two ludicrously large and unfeasibly unstable cream ghetto that I can barely keep a hold of. Oops, nearly tripped. Luckily, I didn't. Oh, uh oh, golden menace opportunity ahead! <laughs> uh, can't resist. Must menace. What's <laughs> that? Thanks, Nasha. If I'd have tripped the colonel, I'd be caked in cake. <laughs> ah! The bus! <laughs> oh, next bus isn't here for another hour. OK, Nasha. We're going to have to make it there on skateboard. Oh, brilliant! It's snowing! <laughs> Nash? Hang on. That's not snow. That's...
Beautiful gelatos! to get to school on time is if we go through... Ah! Uh, Peanut Town Park! Uh, uh, maybe I was wrong. As long as I stay on the path, nothing can make me dirty. Ladies and gentlemen, yes? I am happy to present the reenactment of the Battle of Beano Town. From the north came the invading Fulchester army who were armed with mud pies. <laughs> Brave Beano Town defenders who were armed with custard pies. Oh, what are the chances? Now watch the carefully choreographed reenactment of Beano Town's finest hour. <laughs> Next to have their photo taken, Dennis. Perhaps I should go next, Mrs. Creature. Something tells me Dennis won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Walter? Oh, uh, Dennis. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you. <laughs> Gosh, look at how clean you are. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> Um, I'm sure this is all just a simple misunderstanding. Um, let's just shake on it. Nasha, Walter thinks we should shake. You know what? I agree. Would you do the honour? Nash, Nash. <laughs> Ready, Mrs. Creature? Uh, all right, Dennis. Smile and arms by your side, please. <laughs> on a timer, your picture will be taken in just ten seconds' time. But, oh, dearie me, I dropped my pen. Well, it's, uh, yeah, well, I, it, it is, I suppose. <laughs> so, no month of being grounded? Yes! Outside, Nasha! Time for a goo filled balloon fight! <laughs> <laughs> Our lovely little boy. <laughs> 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 